Hello, Bumpy Big Squiggums here, and it's time for me to start up Legend of Grimrock 2. That's right, Almost Human's second offering. Well, maybe it's more than second. I don't know. Second offering in the realm of Grimrock. And I'm pretty excited. I trudged through very, very rapidly the last, like, 20 episodes of Legend of Grimrock, the original game. It was stressful. It was difficult. But I managed to complete it, and now we get to start with a new series. Legend of Grimrock 2 shall commence now. So I'm going to do the character creation, and it's going to be sweet, sweet nice. We're going to go with normal character creation. Old school mode means I have no map, which means absolutely not. I'm not going to go and boggle my mind more. Iron Man mode, the game can be saved only at healing crystals. Uh, for continuity purposes, I'd rather not do that in case somehow I die off or do something stupid. And then I have to like go all the way back like two episodes or something. It's just it's not worth it. I would much rather be able to save when I end an episode and not have to do it solely based on the save crystals. And single use crystals, no. I oftentimes run and abuse crystals, and I'm going to continue to do that. So, yeah, if I lose a person, I don't want to have to go through like four levels looking for another save crystal. So we're just going to go with the basic normal and create characters. We're going to apply it, and here we go our new stuff okay well there's a lot it looks very different I apologize I don't even know where to begin so we can we have dice rolls oh we can randomly do that oh okay well, that's interesting okay alright so let's take a look at what we have we have the human and insectoid a lizard man a minotaur and a ratling. Let's check out what the ratling is. As a ratling, you may seem weak and disease-ridden on the surface, but you are actually one of the most adaptable and hardy creatures in the world. You are a hoarder by nature and greatly enjoy fiddling with mechanical contraptions. So we have no strength, but we are very dexterous. We have a lot of evasion, and our max load is increased by 15 kilograms, which is not bad. Ooh, and we're immune to diseases. I like that. Alright, so that sounds like a very, very roguish type of person. I think I'm going to try the frontline rogue this time. Oh my god, there's so many more classes. Okay, so what seemed to be relatively simplistic last time seems it's going to be way, way more complicated now. Hmm. What? Is that farmer? There's a far. Oh god. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to have a lot of reading and a lot of just crazy stuff that we're going to have to look at. All these skills, I mean, there's a lot here. I'm glad they've expanded as much as they have. Alright, as an alchemist, you brew potions and defend yourself in combat by wielding firearms. Okay, firearms, people. Guns. <clears throat> your health is 50 plus 6 per level, and energy is 50 plus 4 per level. Herbs in your inventory multiply. What? And the growth rate is determined by the number of steps taken. Wow. Firearms have 50% less chance of malfunction. Okay, there's absolutely no way I can't not go. That's too many negatives. I have to have an alchemist in my party. Just saying. Alright, we have a barbarian, which is sexy. I love barbarians. As a barbarian, you don't care about finesse in combat. Instead, you rely on raw power and speed. So your health is increased by... Or your health is 80. It's increased by 10 per level. And your energy cares... And your strength by one per level. That's pretty good. Uh, battle Mage. As a Battle Mage, you are comfortable with fighting in the front row. Really? As well as blasting with spells from the back row. Let's see. Your health is 50, 5 per level, 50, 5 per level. So pretty balanced. Weight of equipped armor is reduced by 50%. Nice. You can cast spells with bare hands. Excellent. And you gain protection plus 10 and resist all plus 10 when equipped with a staff or an orb. Alright, so let's see, we... Do we read the farmer yet? No. As a farmer, you do not command great powers and do not know how to wield a sword. Instead, you are familiar with digging ditches for irrigation and the growth cycles of pit root plants. Basically, everything a successful adventurer would never need. <laughs> uh, your health is 30 plus 5 per level, same as your energy. You receive no skill points at the first level. Wow. Instead of slaying monsters, you gain experience points by eating food. That's awesome. That is fantastic. Alright, then we have the traditional fighter. You are a master of close combat. You are trained to use a wide variety of weapons. 60 health, 7 per level, energy don't care. 
special attacks with melee weapons take half the time to build up and cost 25% less energy. We have the knight, as the knight you believe that good preparation is the key to triumph in combat. You are specialized in wielding armor and using the shield. Health is 60, plus 7 per level, and energy is 30, plus 3 per level. Okay, so we have protection plus 1 per level, so he's more of a tank, okay. Weight of equipped armor is reduced, evasion bonus equipped shield is increased, so he's your frontline tank guy. And then we have a rogue. As a rogue, you are a stealthy warrior who prefers using ranged weapons or light melee weapons. Your health is 45 plus 5, energy is 40 plus 5. When dual wielding, you suffer only 25% penalty to weapon damage, normally 40%. Oh, that's not bad. Plus... Is that minus plus 1% chance per level? Oh, no, no, it's just a dash, okay. Plus 1% chance <laughs> per level to score a critical hit with a missile or throwing weapon. Well, darn it, that makes him kind of... Uh, oh, and then the good old wizard. As a wizard, you use enchanted staves and orbs to command great mystical powers that can be used to harm or to protect. Your health is blah, 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 blah. Energy is a lot higher. Willpower. All right, so we can cast spells. We can do all sorts of stuff. That farmer, that is great. Eat our way to power, indeed. All right, so let's see here. Well, I need an alchemist, but I imagine we're going to go with our first frontline guy, so we're going to totally go with a knight. We're not going to have a rattling knight. We're going to go with a... with a... Um, a, 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 a minotaur knight. I like it. And we're not going to call him Murzard, though that is a pretty fun name. We could bring back Bull Mantooth, but I think we're going to do something different. Um... Bra let's see, Brahma, Brahma, Obama, there we go, Brahma, Obama, baby, there we go, that's our knight, our minotaur knight, I like it, we're going to go with um, some strength increasing, strength increases your carrying capacity and damage you deal with most melee weapons, actually invasion you deal with, oh good, so they finally outfitted dexterity to focus more on range, nice. That was one of the problems I had before. Let's see, we got Vitality. Uh, affects the amount of health. Yeah, 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 willpower. Alright, so that makes sense. So we're going to want to pump that mostly. Um, your accuracy and evasion. So we kind of need that too, though. It's kind of a rough, a rough road to hoe or something. I don't know. Sounds like one of my mother's deals. Oh, we can roll for traits. So you can totally randomize your party. That's pretty neat. I actually like a lot of this stuff here. Oh, and there's little bonuses, it looks like, that, like, you trigger here throughout. Sweet. All right. Let's take a look at this. Uh, alchemy. Blah, I don't care. Athletics. Increase your health by 20 per, or for each skill point. At third skill level, your carrying capacity is increased. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, light, heavy. Hmm. That's gonna be for our barbarian. Ah, oh, see, I want I want more of a front line. They needed to they needed to make this a six person game. I don't know. Maybe it'd be too complicated then. Because I want a front line rogue now, but I also want a barbarian and I want a knight. I have so many wants, it's not fair. Alright, well we're gonna go with one in armor. Um How's this gonna work wait, wait, traits? Oh my god. Alright, um, My head is spinning. Alright, we'll wait on this. Let's go to traits. It's actually separate. Aggressive. You are full of rage! So what did we... What was that thing that we got last time? Was something where it made us skilled mind? No. Oh, really? Ooh. Alright, we have to go with that. Because our, our dexterity is not super high. Health is increased. Uh, Cold-blooded. No. No. Maybe. No. No. I kind of like that, actually. I might do that again. Ooh, your strength is temporarily increased by 10 when you have... Ooh. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay. Interesting. I think we're going to go with the headhunter. So there we go. So we have Br Brahma Obama. I probably spelled that all sorts of wrong, but it's fine. Alright, and then we're going to have to go with armor, I think. And 
I think we're going to go with light. What are light weapons considered, though? Is a light weapon a... a well, we're just going to go with... Uh, I don't know. I wish I knew... It, it's for two-handed weapons, right? That's a heavy weapon? Or is like a single axe, like a single-handed axe? I, I don't know. We'll do light weapons for him. It's fine. Seems kind of a waste, but whatever. Alright, number two! Oh, wait, we can change... Ooh, ooh Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, right there. What else we got? Custom art. Right. Bam! There's Brahma Obama right there. No question, guys. That's him. Alright, new prisoner. Um, We'll go with a human... Barbarian, I guess. Let's see. We'll go with a female. Female barbar barbarians are always nice. We're going to go with my wife. I think she's going to be our female barbarian. Kimiera. McSquigums. Hey, it fits. Sweet. That's a rare and beautiful thing. Alright. Let's see what else we got going. Um. Of course, we're going to want some strength, because that's what we do. Uh, definitely some dexterity. And vitality. We need some as well. Alright. So we're skilled, so we want an extra skill point. What else are we going to get? Muscular. She's a barbarian, so we want her to be strong and powerful. So we're going to probably go with that. I also make sure there's nothing else that's going to be better. Though the weapon specialization seems really good too. It's a tough one. Mm. I think I think weapon specialization is probably gonna be better. From zero to level one. Ah, it seems good, but it doesn't seem great. What if we do that and then we do we do yeah, we're gonna do that. There we go. Muscular weapon specialization. I don't care about the extra skill. It's fine. All right, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do critical melee range throwing or firearm attacks. Ooh, man, I don't have enough for what I want to do. I want to have a mage, of course, and I want to have an alchemist, and I want to have a rogue. I don't have enough slots. The game is evil. At the third level, you can backstab an enemy with a dagger and deal triple damage. That doesn't seem... Eh, I'm sad. Alright, what does the athletics do? Eh. Oh, we're going to go with heavy weapons for sure. Because she's going to be like, I've got the two-handed weapon. I'm going to be like, whoa, whoa, what happened to your voice? Have you been taking steroids again? What if I told you about this? No, why do you say that? Oh, now you sound like Grover. Are you going to become Cookie Monster next and want a cookie? Uh-uh, not going to happen. Alright, um... I suppose we'll go with armor. I'm sorry, folks, this is a little meh. I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. Yeah, let's start the game with two people. No. Alright, next person. Next person, we're going to make a rat. He is going to be... I want him to be an alchemist. But I also want him to be a, a rogue. Alright, he's going to be an alchemist. We're going to have him call, called O-Range. I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to... I had this one already figured out. Oh, O-Range Otang. Yeah, that's what it was. There we go, O-Range Otang. Someone uh, requested a name, so I figured I'd be nice in the stream today. I figured I'd be nice and actually give it to him, so there we go. So we have Orangutang, our rat alchemist. I like it. Alright, um, I'm just kind of going to pump agility. Maybe we'll do a little bit in strength for some carrying capacity. And then vitality so we don't get chewed on. There we go. Something like that. Alright, traits. Does the, do the rats have anything special? Nope. They're, oh, yeah. Mutation. Mutation. One of your attribute scores, chosen randomly, increases by one when you gain a new level. Boom! Nailed it! Definitely getting that one. And then we can be agile. 
or evasive. No, we're going to be agile. Definitely want to be agile. Or we do weapon special. No, 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 it's fine. Agility! Go! Alright, so bam. There we go. And let's see what else we can do. Um, final person. <sighs> final person. We get additional willpower for the insectoid. It's gonna be an insect. Whoa! Oh yeah, you know what? I didn't look at uh, the rat faces. Let's see. That looks kind of feminine. I guess. There we go. <laughs> I like that one too. Uh, there we go. So we're gonna go with that. Let's take a look at the bug face here. I think we might have to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one I want to go with on this. That's creepy. Let's go with that one. Alright, so it's a toss-up now between a rogue and a wizard. I think I'm just going to go with a wizard. I can't see not having a wizard in my party. It was so valuable the last time, even if it was somewhat frustrating and slightly challenging. So we're going to go with a wizard again. We're going to max out willpower, of course, a little bit more strength, and then we're going to pump vitality. Um, we got to think of a good name. Natalie was such a good name, I don't know how I could follow that up with something better. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yes. And what else? We can, we can do Aura, right? Yeah. Alright, so Natalie was so good. I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe, man, you know what? Maybe Natalie will be the one that returns. There we go. Natalie's going to come back. We're going to have her back as the only party member from the first game make it back in. Did I give him... I didn't. I didn't give him any skills yet. Let me make sure I'm not shortchanging myself overall. Okay, so we gotta get some skills for our wonderful, wonderful rat alchemist. We're gonna go pump firearms. It's probably not gonna work. I'm just guessing. Oh, you can perform melee attacks in the back row. I kinda really like that idea before, too. But we're gonna go with a critical hit. I think. Melee ranged. Third level, you can backstab with any light weapon. Mm, dodge doesn't seem valuable. Accuracy seems good. See, I don't know. Are you going to be able to miss with ranged weapons this time? Because that wasn't something you did before. Well, I suppose since he is an alchemist, maybe it would be a wise idea to actually get alchemy with him. I don't know. I'm just, just kind of spitballing here. It seems like a wise idea. I really enjoyed having... Oh, we don't have ice magic anymore. We have water magic now, apparently. Okay. Um, well, we're going to go with water magic again, and then... Is there something else? Can we do two schools of magic this time, as opposed to spellcraft? I don't know. I'm pretty excited, guys. I'm pretty excited about to get into the game. Huh. Alright, so we're going to go... Fire and ice is always a good combo. I think we're going to go with air magic, though. I think we're going to go with ice and air. Probably won't be able to cast a spell for like five days. It's fine. Alright, make sure everybody has skills and traits and everything, and they're named correctly. And there we go. And we will start it up in the next episode, guys, and the official start of the game will be then. And we'll have the character creation behind us, the party creation, whatever you want to call it, will be done. And we will officially start the LP of Legend of Grimrock 2. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. If you like this, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell the world. And I will see you guys next time.